Dear friends, now in this video session, we'll discuss about the tax invoice configuration in tally application, a printing bank details, printing multiple invoices, printing space for customer serial signature and printing your company logo as well and modification of your voucher numbering. Yes, first we'll start with the voucher numbering. Yes, first we'll start with the voucher numbering. If you go to accounting voucher, you may see that the invoice number is going to show as simple just number one. See, if you press Alt plus P and uh, then press Alt plus I for preview, Alt plus P for print and Alt plus I is used to enable preview and again is used to, to disable preview as well. So Alt plus P for print, Alt plus I for preview. And here you may see that the invoice number is simply mentioned as only one. So now see, it is important to print a branded invoice number on invoices. If you print a simply as one, there is no branding, right? So when you are making bills, when you are giving a bill to your customer, customer has to surprise with your invoice, right? So we need to print a branded invoice number. For example, now the company name is Vedanta Software Solutions. So instead of printing simply invoice number one, you it is better to add Vedanta Software Solutions. That means VSS slash. Then instead of printing only one, it is better, to, it is good to print 0, 0, 0 and that means we are adding some uh, prefix and its suffixes in the invoice number. Yes. So, in, so now this is a basic invoice number. So now we just wanted to print like this, VSS, where under soft solution slash invoice number, if it is one, just add 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 slash 2019 and 20. So I just wanted to add some prefix and some suffix to the invoice number. Very simple. Directly from tally, tally main page, just go to directly from tally application just go to accounts info voucher types and open alter because the sales voucher is already created we don't want to create a new sales voucher i just wanted to update a sales voucher which is already created so once again i just show you go to where accounts info voucher types and select alter and select sales yes in the sales See, I just wanted to use a method of, what is a method of coach numbering? I just wanted to use only automatically, one plus one, two, three. So I just want to use the OCH numbering as automatic, but in the same automatic, I just want to configure with advanced settings, right? So just go to use advanced configuration, yes. And there, now the system is asking you, what is your starting number? Yes, my starting number is one only. Obviously, we start with the number one only. And next one is that, what is the minimum width of numerical part? What is the minimum width? Now, we are not going to confirm the max. We are just going to confirm as min. So, minimum, I just wanted to print. Minimum is four. So, if my invoice number is one, system will keep these three digit as zero. If my invoice number is 10, system will keep these uh, first two digit as zero. If my invoice number is 1000, it will print one, zero, zero, zero. If, if my invoice number is 10,000, system will add fifth digit. So, now the system is asking you to confirm what is the minimum width of numerical part. I'm going to keep as minimum 4, not max. Just it is it is asking you to confirm min. So 4. And if your invoice number is less than 4 digit, do you want to prefill these 3 digit as 0? Yes. I just wanted to uh, prefill with the 0. Yes. If my invoice number is not equal to 4 numerical part, I just want to fill this part with the 0. So next, prefill with 0. Yes. And restart numbering from 1st April same. Ah, next, the system is asking you about some prefix detail. I just wanted to apply prefix details from 1st April 2020 and what is a particular, what is the company name? The company name is Vedanta Soft Solutions. So you just add capital V, S, S and slash. Vedanta Soft Solution is a prefix. So we now how the invoice number is going to display V, S, S slash 0, 0, 0, 1 and after that after that, do you want to add any suffix? Yes, I also want to add suffix. So, VSS slash 0001. After 1, you just add slash 2000, 2000, 2020 and 21. So, this is how we are going to print the full invoice number in sales invoice. Directly save, control plus A save and again control plus A save. Just save the same for two times. And directly just open the preview. If you once go to accounting voucher and now you may see that it is going to show as VSS slash triple zero. I'm just press page up to open last saved voucher and just see the preview. Now you may see that now the invoice number has been changed from simple one to a branded invoice number as VSS slash triple zero one slash 2020 and 21. Now this is very important to print a branded invoice number. Yes. 
now we'll just see the tax invoice configuration with the different methods and before that I just wanted to uh, create a bank ledger right so I just go back to accounts info ledger and create I'm creating a state I'm just creating state bank of India as a bank name comes under bank accounts always and when you are creating a bank ledger just confirm your bank account details in a proper manner because the same bank details is going to be print in your uh, tax invoice and after that you also confirm the uh, IFC code and also confirm your see if you are using licensed version tally and having with the internet connection system will display total list of online banks available in India if you are not using the licensed version tally you cannot access this screen so simply select not applicable if you are using licensed version tally if the list is available then from the list you just simply select the uh, select as state bank of India see is it important to sell yes it is important because in tally application we also can generate checks if you select state bank of India automatically tally will prepare when you are passing any checks automatically tally will prepare the check format which is designed by actual state bank of India if you do not confirm the uh, your bank system cannot prepare a sample format of SBI right so it is important to confirm the, your proper bank as well so after that just confirm your branch and after that directly press control plus a to save the ledger yes now the bank ledger has been created and saved now we will discuss that how to attach this bank ledger to your invoice right so before that i'll just show you see if you once open the last saved version and you see that it is simply printing only tax invoice is the tax invoice is it original copy is it duplicate copy it is a copy for supplier it, this is a copy for transport so it is not going to print any status of this invoice yes now we are going to add the status of the invoice and, and sometimes we, we uh, uh, sometimes we used to take uh, a seal and signature from customer and also now by default there is no space there is only space for Vedanta soft solutions of seal and signature but there is no space for customer seal and signature now we are going to add a few things to in the same now this is the a uh, basic invoice. now we are, we are just going to maintain a proper invoice with fully configured invoice so just from tally application just go to f 2 configuration settings and just go again to printing then open sales transactions and again open sales invoices you may see that now the system is asking you what is the title of the document what is the title of the document as tax invoice of course and just come down now by default it is printing only number of copies is only one number of copies is only one so if you are going to print only one it never prints any status right so you just keep it at least three copies so if you press three here the first copy will be the original and second copy will be the duplicate for transporter and the triple copy is a triplicate for supplier right so i'm just going to print minimum three co three copies just come down and now one more thing you need to understand that you should enable a feature manually that is print a customer's signature yes i would like to take even seal and signature from the customer and also right so enable even this feature as well and just come down again next we need to print your bank details on the invoice so now by default the system is disable the feature print bank details yes i would like to print uh, yes and next the system is also asking you to confirm your a bank we already created a bank so here you cannot press alt plus c to create your bank ledger that's what first you need to create a bank ledger then come back to this session and the state bank of india next the system is asking you what can just confirm your jurisdiction make sure that if you do not print your jurisdiction the whole invoice will be invalid as per law the court will never accept these tax invoice as a proof of the activity in the future if there is any legal issues if you apply for if you go to the court the court never accept this invoice if you do not print your jurisdiction it is 101 person it is very very important to print your jurisdiction name if you are not printing your jurisdiction name the whole invoice will be treated as invalid if you do not print your jurisdiction the whole invoice will become as invalid 
and just I'm going to confirm the jurisdiction as Sikandrabad and just at so next the system is asking you to confirm a generated by the system by preset to uh, this is a computer generated invoice of course anybody can find out this invoice and they can observe that it is also prepared by a computer not by a human being so you don't need to declare the same once again to the customer so instead of uh, printing as regular the same sentence you, you just uh, say thanks to your customer so I'm going to mention the word called as uh, thanks for your a business because the customer is giving a business to me so I, I would like to say thanks to my customer yes so thank thanks for your business and directly save the voucher right now we'll just see the allocated the sample just open the voucher and press page up to open last saved voucher and press alt plus p and now you may see that yes now you may see that now the status has been added on the first invoice it is going to show as original for recipient and if you once come down if you want to come down in the second paper in the second paper you may see that it is showing that duplicate for transporter in the third paper in the third invoice the system is going to show the word as in the third invoice the system is going to show the status as a triplicate for supply so when you are printing only one invoice there is no status of the invoice but when you make it from one to three it is going to show total the status of three right now at down you just see that and this is the invoice that how actually it looks at down you may see that its system is also printed the company bank details and the system also taken space for a customer seal and signature and we also printed our subject to secondary by jurisdiction and, uh, and we are also saying thanks for your business to your customer so this is how we just maintain a proper acha is it enough no it is not completed yes to make a more branded invoice it is good to print your company logo right so now we are going to enable a feature called as company logo in the same tally application now by default it is showing only as simple vedanta soft service now i'm just going to create a logo and i just i'll just show you how to attach the logo to the system right so very simple So now I'm just opening the paint application because in my uh, computer the logo was not yet created. Mention that if your logo is already created, you just compress the size, you just compress the dimensions into 96 into 80 pixels and just ensure that you have saved your logo in the in JPG format. What is the dimensions are, what is the recommended dimensions, 96 into 80 and what is the supported format, JPEG, right? So now if your logo is already created, just compress the sizes and confirm the formats now i'm just going to create a new logo so i'm just opening the paint application in my computer because my logo was not yet created in the in this application so first i'm just compressing the dimensions you may see that status in the paint application you may see that 819 into 345 if you're not able to access this status you just go to view menu in the view menu just ensure that the status bar is activated then you can just then come back to the home so now i'm just going to reduce the sizes as 90 pixels width 96 pixels width to be entered 96 pixels width 96 pixels width the max is 96 you also can use the less than 96 the max is 96 pixels width and 80 pixels height the max the minimum that your choice and I'm, go, I'm also going to reduce the size as well yes 96 into it here now I'm just making it zoom into that I'm not making it bigger I'm just making it zoom I'm not increasing the size so now here in this location I'm just going to create my company logo just for sample Yes, after once creating the company logo, just press Ctrl plus yes, save. And I'm just going to save the same in the desktop. Uh, maybe I'm just going to save the same in E drive. In the E drive, I'm just creating, uh, we already created a folder called as Tally Data. So in that folder, I'm just going to save in the name of my logo. My logo, I'm just ensure that you need to save the things in the JPEG format. So I'm just selecting as the JPEG format right where have we we have said we have just, we just saved in e drive 
and the folder name called as Sally data and the file name called as my logo and the format is the JPG you may see that the extension is dot JPG the format name is four character JPEG and the extension is only three character JPG so I'm just saving the same yes the logo has been created and saved next from tally main page to attach the logo just press F11 and go to accounting features and just open the same enable company logo yes enable company logo yes and you ensure that what is the location of the logo and the location of the logo is it is located in and this is the location and that is e colon slash tally data e colon slash tally data is the location so I'm just going to enter the same address as e colon slash tally data e colon slash tally data and again slash just en enter address slash file name what is the file name and the file name is my logo my logo and dot what is the format extension the format extension is jpg so we enter that enter first address slash file name dot format extension so uh, the address is e colon slash tally data is address slash file name my logo dot extension jpg then you just press enter and control plus a for save after once configuring the same just open the again the save last save which by pressing page up and directly press alt plus p now here you may see that is your logo is printed yes so now this is how we just configure your invoice thank you